We made it to the train station. It's about a 15 minute walk from our Airbnb. I'm just excited to get to the airport and get on our plane and be like on the next leg of this trip. I'm so exhausted and sick of cobblestone. <laughs> it's so difficult with luggage to be walking around in Europe. Just, our our wow. bags have taken a beating. Yeah, our bags are just about ready to fall apart. Just because just we definitely overpacked, which was our fault. Yeah. But then the cobblestone was not a good mix. I didn't wear like half of the clothes I brought, which is I think I brought not good. everything I I think I wore everything I brought at least once. Or will have by the end of the day. Well that's good. Better than I could say for myself. made it past security. We didn't really eat anything today. Mister has fallen asleep, which is, I can't believe he slept through security because we have to take him out of the stroller and I put him back in the stroller and he still passed out, which is phenomenal. And we just picked up some sandwiches from Costa Coffee and they had a grapefruit cold brew. And honestly, I feel like I didn't have time to look at the menu. So I got it and it's horrible. It's a terrible drink. It's a weird combo. Um, and I got tiramisu, which I've already taken a bite of, so. Which is also Ten seconds later. Don't let our dentist see this. We overpacked like way, way, way too much. Like probably double the amount of stuff we needed for these two weeks. I think I packed better than you did. I didn't wear like most of the things that I brought. We're about to board our plane and I'm excited to get on there. Emily of the future. We've been back for a little while now from our trip. Iceland was the last stop on our trip and I guess while we were on the airplane um, a button was hit on my camera or I don't know something happened. Something happened while we were on the airplane and it's just my audio like literally no audio recorded for the rest of this video. It was really really odd. It didn't happen any of the other days that I've noticed. It was just Weird, but that doesn't, it's not gonna stop me from filling you in on our first impressions, our thoughts on Iceland, how we felt about it. If my eyes annoy you, if you can even tell, uh, three weeks ago, I had LASIK eye surgery. Um, so, well, I got it way, way before when this video is actually coming out, but at this point in time, three weeks ago, I had LASIK eye surgery and there's just some them bruising on my eye still. It's like red, red marks around it. I'm sure at some point I would have talked about it in a different video, but that's not why we're here today. We're here to talk about Iceland. I love, love, loved, loved, loved Iceland. It was a really, really nice place. It gave me a lot of Halifax vibes. Last year we went to Halifax and just like walking around the city, like it felt very nostalgic. I am a sucker for beach side, like water close by, fish and chips, just like cozy vibes. And while we were in Reykjavik, honestly, considering it was a capital city, it was just so sleepy, so dreamy. There's not a lot happening there. And like, for me, that is ideal. That is like a perfect vacation destination. Like I, don't want to do a whole lot. Like, I just really enjoyed like not feeling like like there was a lot to do. Like I I don't know. I I really 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 <laughs> I really liked that, um, and it was beautiful. I just wow. I don't have enough good things to say about Iceland. Like it was really fantastic, but it was also extremely expensive. 
if you like want to budget travel this is not the place to budget travel it's probably the worst location for budget travel which is why we were only there for three days i just i didn't want to spend a lot of time there knowing how expensive it was going to be i just wanted to get the vibe kind of do the main things and head out i'm rambling a little bit let's get to the point with our full first impressions of iceland so once we got out of the airplane we just picked up our rental this is the only place we got a rental it is so necessary in my opinion because the cost of tours is very expensive um, but the cost of a rental really wasn't that much, especially because this one was so fuel efficient. So it really, it just, it worked in our benefit. I would definitely just say, pick up a rental. And while we were driving, there was literally just so much blank land. And we of course went to our Airbnb first thing. It was a guest house. So it was just one big house. We got a room in that house. It was shared washrooms, not super private, but it was still nice. We were grateful. And then we actually went to a park real quick and me and Abdullah both Googled nearby restaurants and settled on the same restaurant, which was Icelandic street foods. Really, really liked it. The soup was really good, but I spilled soup all over my pants, like hot soup. As soon as we got it to the table, I spilled it all over my pants. And I blame the fact that the table was slanted. It was not my fault in any way whatsoever. The table was slanted, not my fault. Anyways. we did just keep walking down that same little area like at this point like we never left our airbnb for like not even a five minute vicinity of walking like everything was really really close to each other and we just went to look at some ducks <laughs> oliver really really liked this there was ducks there was swans there was other little kids looking at the ducks and swans it was a really just nice way to spend that little chunk of time so first things first i feel like i need to mention that iceland was cold like very cold considering we were here in June. I was shocked. Actually, I guess it would have been like July 1st when we were there. We were there for Canada Day. It was freezing. It was very, very cold. Freezing's a, a, a over, a, what's the word? Over assumption? Overestimate? No. Over exaggeration. Freezing is an over exaggeration. We were wearing light fall jackets and like I thought, I was like, I wish I had my winter gloves. Like my hands were cold. Like it wasn't it was not unpleasant coldness, especially coming from Canada, but it's just not what I was expecting for the month that we were there. I knew it would be chillier, just not as cold as it was. And also, this is the only country out of the five countries that we visited that we needed to rent a car. And need, I'm using loosely, it was a convenience thing for the cost of like tours to like do the golden circle and like go to the blue lagoon for the cost of the tours. Uh, it was literally like the cost of renting a car and rather than like a one day seeing everything we had our car over like all all three days that we were there and that just suited our needs better we didn't have to worry about going back and forth to the airport booking separate transportation because the airport is not like close to Reykjavik it was like a 45 minute drive although like driving on such like sleepy streets like there wasn't like anyone really out which was nice. I, I enjoyed that. I liked how not busy it was, especially coming from like the GTA where at any point of day you leave your house and there's there's traffic. Anyways, that's off topic. I don't know why I wanted to tell you that. Something that did catch me off guard like when we first were like driving into the city was how much like rocky terrain that there was. Like I, I was picturing like lush grass and like seeing just like, I don't know, sheep immediately. That's like what I had in my mind when I was thinking Iceland, um, but it was all rocks and the rocks were just like covered in moss. It was like hard uh, volcanic magma that from like I don't know, centuries ago, I'm not sure when, but that's what it was. It was like really rocky terrain. That surprised me and it made me question what I thought I knew about Iceland. Eventually we did see like the grass and the sheep and get that vibe that I initially thought that I would be seeing in Iceland, but it was, it did throw me off driving 
to Reykjavik from Keflavik, which is where the airport is. It's in Keflavik and we, we were staying in Reykjavik. But overall, like, such a beautiful city. It's a city that makes you want to just like sit down, curl up with a book, drink your coffee and, and relax. Although, if you are going on vacation to just drink coffee and relax, I would not recommend you do it in Iceland just because of the prices. Uh, <laughs> you could definitely go somewhere else and get that same vibe if that's what you're going to do. If you're going to hike glaciers and like see the volcanoes and, and do like a way more activity focused trip, then Iceland would definitely 110% be the place for that. But if you're new here, I would have just, I've been posting Europe content. We were in Europe for just under three weeks and we went to see five different countries and I vlogged the entire thing and I have two more Iceland videos coming out. We're going to try a bunch of different Icelandic foods as well as do the golden circle and those were like my main top priorities to get a taste for Iceland because it's somewhere that I can fully imagine going back one day when I'm rich because it's expensive but I can imagine going back there. It was such a beautiful, wonderful place. So stick around. We're a big happy family over here. And I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for following along on our journey. Bye.